Hey guys, what's up? We are doing a weekend of game hunting in PEI and we are off. Mostly we're just excited to get away from our son. Welcome back guys. We're just gonna talk about uh, a little trip that we did two weeks ago now. Yep, two weeks. And um, basically we went just to kind of get away mm -hmm. and also do a little bit of game hunting. I guess at this point we should say, thanks mom and dad for watching the boy so we could go to PEI. Yep. So we went up to get away, to go game hunting, yep. go try some craft breweries we'd never been to there before as a child. And I guess we had well, taken... Of course you haven't been to a craft no. brewery as a child. I would hope not. But I as mean, a... <laughs> you've got cool parents there, but... As a child... From the 80s, we would just... <laughs> put some in Take their... a sip of daddy's beer. Put some in their bottle and they'll just pass right in. No, uh... I'd never been to Charlottetown. Because that's not a big touristy spot if you're going with your family. The place to go is to Cavendish. Cavendish is definitely more family oriented. oriented. Yes. With amusement parks and exactly all kinds of amusement parks and stuff like that. There's yeah. just where Charlottetown is geared towards more of well, adults. that's and that's the hub of the island too. Yeah. That's that's the capital of They're, PEI. Yeah, that's their capital. It's a very small island. It is. There. It's can... all farmland. It's all farmland. Oh, Farm gosh, potatoes. Yeah. Be yeah. Beautiful land. Yes. Really, Country really is, nice. is, yeah, very scenic. Oh, two fun facts. PEI is has the world's largest bridge crossing ice-covered water. True. So it's the longest bridge covering or crossing ice-covered water. And uh, you can drive the entire island tip to tip, I think, in four, four and a half hours. I think that's what I... Oh, yeah, if not, it is, depending on how fast you drive. You it, islanders, Larry, you drive fast, boys. I was over there driving mm -hmm. 10 over the speed limit, and you guys were pretty much pushing me. Like, oh, get yeah. the F out of the way, tourist. Yeah, yeah. What are you from, New Brunswick? Exactly, yes. Exactly, yes. And, yeah. and in a new car, so... <laughs> We're being very careful yeah. with Lola. We guy? haven't agreed. Yes, that that's Kara's name she's a showgirl. Her name is Lola. She's four door. She's <laughs> not a showgirl. <laughs> I like that's, it. It's... That's like uh, two o'clock in the afternoon at a strip club showgirl there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's my first new car I've ever had, ever, ever, that your uncle sold to us. Yes. Yeah. So anyways, back to the games. We went to two separate places, both most wanted. Yeah. Pawn. They pretty much have a monopoly on the island. Uh, when we went to the first pawn shop in Summerside, uh, actually two floor, yep. and the um, one of the people that worked there was explaining to us why they're the only pawn shops on the island. Basically, a few others had tried to. To do I wasn't talking to him, I was looking at games. Yes. A few others this had tried to do to it yeah. and uh, just hadn't had any luck with it mm. because most people go to Most Wanted Pond. They have a bunch of franchises across Nova Scotia as well. Yes. Their pond laws are different than um, New, Brunswick. New Brunswick. So, plus they also partner with one of the pond shops we go here uh, to here, Parlor Pond. So, I think it's kind of like a. Unspoken. Are they partnered or are they associated with? Or... Associated with, I should say. It, I kind, of, I feel like it's almost an unspoken rule where this is kind of not their territory. It, it, the way this is my it, turf. Yeah, the way they made it sound. They let sell games on my turf. Yeah, and then our pawn laws are different. So we went there first. Uh, we went upstairs. Tons of games. A tons, lot of games. Yes, yeah, so many yeah. more than what we had seen here in Moncton. And yeah. it was really, really cool. In the Moncton area there, like we hit all our normal spots. Yeah. And, and for the sheer amount of games that they had there was oh yeah probably five, six times more than the biggest one here in Moncton. Yes, yes. I stepped in, I was like, holy crap, uh, this is gonna take a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> the one big difference I did notice about PEI from New Brunswick is the game prices. But if you were on an island, some of them were more expensive. 
Oh, some of them were very expensive. Yes. Um, oh. Because in multi region, Shelly. we have like four or five pine, pawn shops yeah. where they I'm have two on the entire island. I'm give two examples of. Yes. I, uh, their expensive stuff is in a glass case, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they never have the price showing, so you have to have friggin' ask somebody come yeah. open the case up. Yada, yada, yada. So, first one I will mention is um, the Minish Cap yeah. Zelda game yeah. on Game Boy Advance. Loose cart. I was like, cool, I've been looking for one, I want one. Exactly. You know? And I told her, I said, if it is in around the 40 to $50 area there, loose cart there, I'm gonna grab it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So he took it out, what's the price? 80 bucks. 79.99, yeah. I said, put it back. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? I will say this for them. Somebody's gonna buy it though. Someone's and gonna they buy know it. it. That's why they price it. Exactly, and having two pawn shops on the entire island, they can price stuff that way. It's not necessarily yeah. what you price stuff in New Brunswick where we have a ton of pawn shops. We don't have a ton. Well. There's a little more competition <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah. Cause St. John has five or six, Fredericton has a bunch, but, and we're talking. Uh, I was thinking Moncton there when you said it. Yeah. I haven't even been to St. John. I'm talking John, province so. wide. We have yeah. more pawn shops than they do their entire province. Yeah. Plus it costs a fee to go across the bridge. You know, it doesn't cost to go to the island. It costs to They'll come They'll charge back. you to get off yeah. the island. You wanna... If you're there, you don't want to pay, you're staying. It's like a Hotel California <laughs> situation, although you can pay to leave. Yeah. But if you don't, you're not leaving. All you right. live there now. So the second game, I'm going to tell you what the price was. It was, I might actually have it on my shelf here. And this is not the copy I bought there, but this no. is a copy I bought about a year and a half ago. And I paid $40 for this a year and a half ago. Yes. Do you want to tell me Complete. the price sticker that they had on this sucker? I want to say first, this game has gone up significantly. It has gone up significantly. You guys got to understand too, we're in Canada. So when I looked up the Canadian price value of this game, it was about 170 bucks. And I was like, what? Yeah. So we're feeling pretty lucky that we have Jeez. one. And they want it $2.99. Yeah. So, I don't so, know. I don't think it was... For you people that maybe have something kicking around that in a closet that you don't even need, it, there's some hidden treasure for yeah. you that you can go and get some value out of. Because most um, people wouldn't think I have a PlayStation 2 game and it's worth $170. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, some, they're going some of them up. up. Yeah. Um, if you're into fighting games, awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. I love my beat em up games there. You do. I'm telling you, this, this stuff is awesome. There's the soundtracks, everything there. They have all the old rappers in there. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I got both of them. The first one is not nearly as expensive. No, so, it's not. You go right back to your home right there. Yeah. So now that we're done crapping on them a little bit for prices, I, but I, we're not so much crapping on yeah. them, just saying they they have a monopoly on it and they can put their price. They, at, yeah, they yes. set the price. That was a bit much. So. Yeah, but you did get some, that was in Summerside. Yep. And I can't say enough good things about the cleanliness there. And the people that work there, they were really knowledgeable. So I did really, really like it there. It was a nice pawn shop, Summerside. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the Charlottetown pawn shop and this is where we found most of the stuff we ended up picking And the up. reason why is yeah. they had a sale going on yes. where it was, um, how, how many different consoles? Anything, PlayStation 1, 2, 3. And anything Xbox, Xbox original yeah. 360 and 360 that wasn't in a glass case that was on the standard case if you bought five and I think I know there was different tiers but we just went to the top tier and we're like this is our tier if you bought five you I got don't know if it was for PlayStation 1 I think it was PS2 no it PS3. was it was PlayStation 1 was it but it was 1? the stuff on that shelf it wasn't the stuff uh, it was that, just your yeah so if you're thinking PlayStation 1 game oh my god 40% off no, it's a sports no. game yeah yeah it's yeah, it's 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 a game you wouldn't so. sell. We did end up getting a few of those, and it was forty percent off if you got five yes. or more, yeah. which was fantastic. Yes, yeah. so I definitely got my forty percent yeah. off these games. I'll go through them real quick right now. Um, this one here, I had loose a loose cart. Yeah. So I got the the, the case and the artwork. Still no manual, but this looks really nice on the shelf. There. Yes, and you got them for a good price. I did get it for a good price. Yeah. I think it was only 20 bucks. Yeah. This game right here, I already had in my collection. Yeah. But 
I did not have a manual for it. And as a lot of people know, I, I love my complete games. Mm -hmm. And what I did, this was actually in better shape than the one I had. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Ah, it's a wrestling game. Uh, I know. But it but has some I, sentimental value. I too. love wrestling games. Yeah. They're fun. They're mm -hmm. a great time. Just have, you know, Is have this a, the one you play with Alex? No, 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 that's on the PlayStation. Oh, okay. That's SmackDown. Oh, uh, okay. This one here, I was, I've been looking for for a long time. Alien vs. Predator Extinction mm -hmm. on the original Xbox. It is complete. Yes, it is. And it's in very nice shape. Oh yeah. And I just, I haven't seen it. Who doesn't in town. love Alien vs. Predator? I haven't seen it in town. And if you go on eBay, um, for me to buy in Canadian dollars, and my ninja is walking upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Buy it in Canadian dollars. Uh, I think most people were asking uh, between thirty and forty, and there was always a freaking twenty dollars shipping charge. Mm -hmm. like, really? And I don't so, know that it was five dollars, but it was pretty. I think it was ten. Yeah, it was a really good value. I was really happy. Yeah. This was in Summerside, not yep. Charlotte Town. This one. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if this one's any good. Chronicles of Riddick. Um, Assault on Dark Athena. I think if I'm Athena. Saying that, Athena. Yeah. Um, it looks really good on the back. I heard yeah. that one of these games is really good. I don't know if it's the original on the original Xbox or if it's this one. Tell me in the comments. I know we loved the movie. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. you're t you're thinking of Pitch Black. Yeah. After that kind of. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pitch so, Black was awesome though because we didn't that expect was also, anything from it. That was also complete. Yeah. yeah. Very nice condition. Oh yeah. And everything. It's oh yeah. Really nice, nice shape. Yeah. Um, I've been looking for this one for a little while. You have. It's been. called Ninja Blade Ninja for the Blade. Xbox 360. It's a very. It's a beat 'em up, and it's. I haven't even had a chance to play it, but I've seen gameplay online. I was like, oh, I, I want to play that. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of. If I had to describe it from what I've seen online, it was like, you're a ninja in Resident Evil. Oh really? Kind of, yeah. Ooh. So something's Speaking something's going language. on, affecting pe infecting people, and you're just that's pretty kicking cool. The ass. Um, I won't say that was the last. Death by degrees. I think he brought bought it for the cover. Oh no, the back, the back's way better. <laughs> um, I was looking for this here for a while, and it's not an expensive game. Uh, I think in town I could have got it for fifteen dollars. Yeah. But I think I only paid five. And it was part of that discount again. Yes. Yep. So, it's got your game. Yep. Really, really nice manual. And it also has a bonus disc there. And I think it's uh, I think it's a demo for Tekken 5. Tekken 5. So, really nice shape. Yes. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. It's a beat em up. I love my beat em ups. Shocking. Love my beat em ups. This one here, I've owned. This will be the second time I've owned this. <laughs> and I have not again? play it because it was a really good price. <laughs> yeah. And the first time I bought it was a greatest hits copy, and it was also a really good price. Yes. And the first time I owned it, I was tempted by something else, and I I knew I got it for a great price, I and I threw it in on a trade in on something there to get yes. something else I wanted more. I think when we originally got that, we got on a yard sale. Uh, not a, a yard sale, no, sorry. No. Kijiji, I think it was a Kijiji ad. Your marketplace or something. Yeah. And I ended up getting my Castlevanias on the 360. Yes. Castlevania, Lord of Shadows 1 and 2. And with it, with this, and I, there was a... There was another one. Oh! I do believe it was Wind Waker. Yeah, it was Wind Waker. It was for almost nothing, and guess 20 what? 20 bucks for the four of those things. This is this is the best part. It was her ex-boyfriend's games, and she wanted them gone. And I don't think she knew the value of them. I'm like, I don't care. I don't know your ex-boyfriend. I'm not doing Boots it Boots is you. upset, too. That's right, Boots. That's not right. No, she shouldn't be upset. We got That's, it for a good deal. It's not right. I'll never do it to you. Anywho, um, we have Kingdom Kingdom of Hearts 2 on I the PS2. I just Peels think it's 2. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts. All right. Anyway, it's a 
from my from my understanding of it, I actually haven't played any of the Kingdom Hearts. Mm -mm, but it's either. you take the Disney characters and you put them in an RPG. Oh, cool! Like, look, you got Pirates of the Caribbean in there. Yeah. Like you look, it's Simba. I don't yeah. Know, totally. I don't know if you actually play as those characters or if it's just part of a cinematic sequence. Or I know you do have like Mickey and all those guys. Nice. I think you would really really like it. I might. Yeah. <laughs> the last one I picked up on the island. I have on the PS3. Yeah. And anybody that knows me when it comes to Marvel characters. Yeah. This is my favorite character. But I can't even blame you for getting it on the Xbox 360 as well, because if you love a game or you love a character, you have to have it on both systems or all, depending on how many systems it comes on. Alice. Yes. Alice. Madness Returns. I just started playing it. I posted that on Twitter to ask everybody else what they were oh. playing. And I love it. She loves it so much. She got it on 360. Now I need it now on the PS3. Now she wants it on the PS3. So I do. I have to have keep it. Keep your judgment over there. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, we have uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition. Like this stuff. This, when when people talk about um, like Wolverine in a game, like have they got Wolverine right here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. And again. And again. Like. Manual, everything is it's awesome. Awesome condition. The island, people just keep their stuff nice over there. Yes. Farmers keep their stuff. They really do. Nice. My, I have one of those beautiful minds there because we were talking before the video started. We're like, what did we pick up on the island? I'm like, I can't we... remember. But I bet you if I go look at the shelf, I'll pull them out. Yep, and he did. And I did. I walked over to the shelf, and I was look as I was looking at my games. I knew where I bought each game. And oh, yeah. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm terrible for remembering names. Like, you can introduce yourself, and two seconds later, I'll forget. But if I have a picture in my hand, I know where I bought it. I know how much I bought it for. It's crazy. And I can tell you pretty much the 700 plus games we have physical here, I could probably tell you how much I paid for them and where I got them. I don't doubt it for a second. There's something wrong with me. It's all right. Maybe it's that's probably why I, it takes me so long to remember my postal code. <laughs> now that everybody's been staring at your boobs for a while, I want to tell them that we where we got that. Oh, we got this at... Matt's Media in Riverview. It's, it's a beer, yeah, pong. beer pong, but we don't care about the lower half. All right, so... So I, I love picking up these fun little shirts yes. there. And Matt's Media is a great spot for picking up these cool, fun shirts. He always has cool shirts. Yep. I want to talk about my shirt really quick. Because, I mean... We bought it at the island. Exactly. At Upstreet. And we did go to a couple different uh, craft breweries Upstreet. And uh, I made Scott walk 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get to this place. In the heat. When there was one right around the corner from where we yep. ate and drank. Who takes a ginger out for a stroll in the heat of the summer i'm sorry during heat wave i'm sorry i like honestly here's how it went i could have died jen i could have died we got to the first place hop yard that's the first brewery we went to we were going to eat there but their menu changes every two weeks and they had like an asian fusion <laughs> this is the name of their menu it was called tokyo drift <laughs> and I looked at that menu, everything on there, and I said, I'm going to have a Do Tokyo Drift in my underwear next day if I eat it here. So yeah, we have to go. <laughs> you couldn't. So we had one beer there. So here's yep. here's Hopyard. Here's Upstreet. And we went over here to Crafters uh, Burger Company to have food. You should just pop a map up here. I should. After Crafters, we went all the way over here to Upstreet when there was an Upstreet right here. Like, and literally a two-minute walk. the best part of this is she was navigating using her phone and yeah. Google Maps. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, let's go to that big one. That Well, no, because I said, let's go to that one we had seen. It was right beside Most Wanted Pond. So that's why I wanted... Uh, I was like, the cool we, one with We the... drove to Most Wanted Pond. We did. So, yeah. Other than that, we, uh, we tried to go to a, like little beer not a beer festival but what is it called it's kind of a beer garden like well, a, it was a, it, it's a it's a craft brewery slash pub but they had room. a very big uh uh deck like a, yeah. a door seating and there was a ton of people there there was a ton of people oh, because yeah. they had live live, live music. music but when we walked up and heard the live music 
and we're not country music fans and i'm sorry if you are if that's, what, sorry, you, if that's what you'd like then then congrats but i was like i don't want to go there i want to be happy today so i walked away and we went to drink at hop yard again but scott scott I can't see you because the sun's in my eyes scott jen why didn't we go to the last beer garden because the music sucks but yeah we couldn't go there and then we got uh ice cream at chapman's because when you're on the island you have to have a chapman's ice cream that was cows or cows <laughs> chapman's is new brunswick cows it's both c it's both c this was the one that was navigating <laughs> You have to have a cow's ice cream. They're creamy and delicious. And I guess this one is the number one ice cream store in the world. They rate, what? there was a world rating and it had it rate. And I looked it up and it also had it on the wall of ratings of best ice I mean, cream stores. It's, I, I think that's self promotion there or whatever. It, if I went there and I got, I got chocolate. Like can't go wrong with chocolate. Yeah. And, and it she's was like, good. oh my god, uh, it's the best ice cream ever. I'm like, it's chocolate I ice cream. I just like the way, I like the, like it tasted really good. It felt, it tasted creamier stuff. It's ice cream. There's not that big of a difference. Through the magic of editing, we now have more beer. We stopped for a beer break. And then we're going to finish this off by that saying. The camera stopped so we could have a beer break. It apparently. did. Besides mentioning cow's ice cream, we also went to Freak Lunchbox. No, after, after. After. No, after we went for ice cream, um, we were sitting down on the bench, just like a park bench. Yeah. And uh, we looked behind us there and there was a comic book store. Yeah. It kind of tucked away, hidden downstairs in the basement. Mm -hmm. it's, eh, let's go in there. Yep. Oh, we didn't end up buying anything, but it was, he had the... The guy that was wearing them was really nice. Oh, super, super nice. Yeah. We talked about moose. Because if you're from New Brunswick, you got to talk about moose. Well, I had mentioned something about a moose. I don't know how we got on the topic. And there he, he the, I don't remember what he said, but it sounded like he had never seen a moose before. Like, it was this rare thing. And I'm like, we're from New Brunswick. We see those fuckers all the time. Mm -hmm. We have signs <laughs> for them. We yeah. Like, watch out for moose. Yeah. So, yeah, we see them all the time. Actually, I saw one when I was hiking one time. Ran out with some babies and... I was like, look, moose, let's Oh, look, let's go pet them. <laughs> no, not pet them. I wanted to take pictures. But anyways, we were talking with him for a little bit. Super cool guy. Then we went up the stairs and stopped at Freak's Lunchbox. Freak's Lunchbox is basically a big candy Super store. Super huge candy store. We got Alex, yep. the world's like biggest. It was a jawbreaker. jawbreaker. I got it just for shits and giggles just to see his reaction. Yeah. And he never gave me a reaction. And it was like a little Chinese food container we spent. <laughs> it looked like a Chinese food yeah, box. Yeah, we spent yeah. $12 on this. Oh my god. It was, there was basically no candy in it, but it was a novelty. And uh, there was a lot of stuff you can't typically get just anywhere. So. There was a lot of old timey kind of candy. Yeah. This a huge retro snake, candy. This huge gummy oh, worm I got snake. It. He liked that because he told me, Dad, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, I picked yeah, it up. we picked it up. <laughs> so that was very cool. And the very last thing we did before we left, or I guess before we went to bed that night was we got we some got pizza. pizza. Do you remember the name of the place? Um, oh. Ho. Oh, I went to Pizza Ho. Got me a, Famous peppers? I think it is. A, Famous peppers. We the ordered hero? the the hero. The, the hero. hero. Uh, now, when I describe the toppings on this pizza, you might say, "What?" No. Anyway, the hero is the main toppings on this pizza that gives it its distinct flavor. Is there is a smoked ham? Honey smoked ham. Honey, is a honey I smoked ham? I looked it up. Oh, okay. I looked it up. There's black pepper. There is red onions there is a hero sauce that's put on the top of it okay i didn't know that yeah i looked that up too and there's dill pickle and i have no idea why because i don't typically like dill pickle she doesn't like pickles period i love yeah. pickles so yes. i'm like she told me let's try it i'm like it <laughs> all right was delicious it was good it was it, really good i had I, I have a picture i have a picture i actually made a dill pickle and ham oh. pizza at home the weekend after, after that i had to have more and alex really liked it too yes yeah, strangely enough you wouldn't think dill pickles but on i think a pizza. it's the garlic and the yes, dill because when it you just cook so the dill pick the dill pickle it really it, it oh there's, yeah there's a different oh, flavor yeah. it's a really strong mm -hmm. dill garlic it was awesome so we do have one in new brunswick but um 
it was the one that was closest to us in Charlottetown, so we were like, let's walk over we there and get there. pizza. When we got, yeah, when we were there, we walked everywhere, so. We did, we did. Most, for the most part. Once we hit our hotel, we walked We just walked after. everywhere. Yeah. It was, everything was within walking distance, so. Yeah, from our hotel. It was a very <clears throat> fun trip. Yep. And I really had a good time. I'd and like to do it again next year. I would too. Yeah. I'd also like to go to the U.S. if everything's good and borders are open. I'd love to go to Maine. I'd like to go to Maine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we like might go going to Nova Scotia sometime. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of. We cool, went to Quebec that last summer. Yeah. That was fun. That was awesome. Yeah. We just have fun yeah. together. I think we could go anywhere when we have fun. Yeah. We usually do some game hunting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching about our little game hunting adventure in PEI. And we will see you in our next video. All right. Game on. Game on.